Hey, what's happening, guys? This uh, conglomeration of traces and components is hopefully going to be a breadboard, breadboard, pedalboard power supply. A pedalboard is what guitar players use to put all their different pedals on. And, uh, you know, in the old days, they all ran off of 9 volt batteries. Now most of them can run off of either 9 volt batteries or um, a 9 volt adapter, although some require 12 volts, and I have seen a couple that actually require 18 volts. But we're not going to go that high. We're just going to go up to 12 volts. So this is my idea, and I'm going to have this board made by PCB Way, and we'll get it in next month. But I wanted to share this with you, have you look at it, and if, see if you guys see uh, any mistakes I made. Because, you know, there's just me here, and, well, I do tend to make some mistakes from time to time. In fact, apparently, I made one uh, yesterday with the capacitor video putting the fuse in the wrong place. You see, I don't script anything. I just go off the top of my head, and I hadn't planned on even talking about the fuses, but I thought maybe I should include the fuse, so I just drew it. Yeah, I drew it on the wrong side, so shoot me. Also... I read all your comments and they're great, except for a couple of people who like to make snarky comments and said if I made any more videos like that, they would be unsubscribing to my channel. Well, guess what? As a service to you, I went ahead and unsubscribed you myself, so you don't have to worry about receiving my subpar content anymore. Good. Now, on we go. So let's start and look at this, and we'll try and analyze it as best we can. We're going to start with this section right here. All right. So start here. This is going to be our input. This is a you know standard 2.1 millimeter barrel jack. The positive connection comes out, and it goes to our power switch. You know, in one position it's off, and in the other position it's on. And that is going to feed the rest of our circuit through this DC in here. At the same time, this is an indicator light on the correct side of the switch this time. There is a 1K LED. I don't want this to be very bright. A 1K resistor, red LED, and that goes to ground. Now, also, also, <laughs> also, As just kind of an insurance policy, I'm adding a 10,000 micro or 1,000 microfarad resistor here, just to kind of act as a um, a reservoir. Whoops! No, I do not want to do that. Uh oh, I'm just hitting all kinds of wrong things. Oh no! Many people will all be unsubscribing from my channel now. Oh no! All right, next up, we're gonna go to this section. So like, let's let's go back here. All right, you see where it says right here, DC in. Come on. Pardon me. There it is. DC in. Well, what's going on? What, what the heck is going on here? No, stop. Don't do that. Ah. Keep hitting the wrong. No. Sometimes I'm an idiot. Okay. So there's our DCN that we saw from the top up there. And it's going through this dip switch. And that just turns on each of our individual outputs. You can see here we have six outputs. And basically they're all exactly the same. So let's go up here and take a look at Okay, this entire thing right here this is one of our outputs. So remember we had our barrel jack and our, our DC in going through that switch, they go to the output. So we have two outs feeding two separate voltage regulators, a 78 M09 and a 78 M12, so a 9 volt and a 12 volt. Each of those requires a 0.33 microfarad cap on the input to ground and a 0.1 microfarad cap on the output to ground. Same down here with the 12 volt. And 
you know, of course, we have a ground connection to make the ground. So our outputs, this is now, so we had a, let's say we had 15 volts DC coming in. Once it passes through this regulator here, now we have 9 volt DC coming out. They're going to go to these two dip switches. The top one is our 9 volt switch. The bottom one is our 12 volt switch. And you can see the switches go here. They go to these LEDs, which go to ground. And when you're dealing with musical equipment, it is um, center negative. So you can see our, our 9 volt DC right here coming off of those switches travels down here and goes to the shield as opposed to the center pin. So that's my logic in this. If you guys see any flaws, point them out. I'd like to know. And you can see there are just uh, six of those outputs all just like that. Here is my uh, layout of the board. I think it'd be easier if we just go over here and, and hit the uh, 3D view. All right. So see if you can stick with me and follow my logic again. So here's our 15 volt DC in. Here is our reservoir cap. And here is our main power switch and our power indicator LED. And here is our toggle switch. Now, all of these resistors here, they're all the same value. They're all 1K. And they are current limiting resistors for these LEDs. Why is it not showing me the green LEDs today? Okay, anyway. So, we leave through here. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about output stage number one right here. So if we turn output stage number one, we're going to take that 15 volts, and we're going to bring it up here to the 9-volt regulator. We're going to bring it up here to the 12-volt regulator. The 12-volt regulator is going to feed that one. The 9-volt regulator is going to feed that one. If you turn the left switch on, the green LED will light up. If you turn the right switch on, the blue LED will turn off, will light up, and you'll have the power here on the output jacks. I don't know what to do if you turn them both on at the same time. You know, you just got to be smarter than the machine sometimes. So if you blow this up, you blow it up. So I put all our resistors over here, and I put all our capacitors down here. And what my plan is for this now is to do a layered uh, PC board box. So you can see I've, dr I've uh, drilled holes in the corner. And I'm going to use PC board material that has cutouts. So basically it's just like a, a frame to build up the outsides of this. And then we'll put it on the top. And of course we will have, you know, hang on. When we get to the top layer, We will have openings in the top layer for our LEDs so you can see which voltage you've selected on each output. And we'll have openings for the toggle switches because you need to be able to see and to select your voltage. We will have an opening here for the power switch, an opening for the power LED and an opening for this dip switch and that's it well on, on the sides there's going to be an opening here and there will be you know one two three four five six openings there as well nothing to see on the back everything's on the front so that's what i've been working on i'm going to send this off to be uh constructicated here in a couple days so if uh, you guys have seen something you don't think is uh, copacetic, let me know. And we'll make a change. We'll make you a partner. We'll work on this together. All right? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. 
and a big thanks to everybody who's been helping me in this uh, difficult time I'm going through. I, I appreciate everyone. God bless. I'm out. Peace.